Hello guys, so welcome to the complete guide for Google Search Console. This is going to be a really important video for you if you run a website or if you run a blog. Because by Google Search Console, you can index your website in Google quickly. You can remove the bad URLs. And there's so many other important things which you need to know if you are running a website or a blog. So in today's video, we're going to understand all these things. I'm going to show you what you can do with Google Search Console, how you can add your website with Google Search Console, and what are the other different features which will really help you to increase the traffic on your blog or on your website. And guys, at any point, if you feel like this video is going to be very technical, don't worry about it because it's totally normal if you're not aware of Google Search Console. So as you're going to deep dive in the tutorial, you're going to start understanding things. There can be something technical jargons which you will not understand, but don't worry about it. By the end of this video, you will have really good understanding about Search Console. So let's start the video. You just need to go to Google or you can check the link in the description and type here Google Search Console. And then you need to click on this first link, Google Search Console. And then you click here on Start Now. And now you need to enter Gmail or Google account ID and click on Next. And then enter your password. And now you'll come to a page something like this. You can see here, Welcome to Google Search Console. To start, select the property type. So first we need to add our website or blog to Google Search Console. You can see we have two methods here. First method is domain method. Second method is URL prefix method. This is a new method. To use the domain method, we need to change our DNS. But the another method, URL prefix, you do not need to change the DNS. So we're going to choose the second method. It's more flexible. So I'm going to type my website URL here, then click on continue. And now you will see here verify ownership. So we need to verify our ownership of this website so that Google know we own this website. So here we have multiple methods here. First method will be download the HTML file and upload this to our website using FileZilla or cPanel. What other methods are available here? To add a HTML meta tag on your website homepage. To verify by Google Analytics. If you already add this website to Google Analytics, then you can choose this method. Then you can verify your Search Console account using Google Analytics. Then Google Tag Manager and Domain Name Provider. But let's go to the simplest way, which is going to work for most of the people. So we're going to download this file, click on this link, and the file will be downloaded. To upload this file, we have two methods. We can log in into File Manager using cPanel, or we can use FTP. So we're going to do the easy way. We're going to log in into cPanel, and then we're going to click on File Manager. And then we need to find public underscore HTML directory. We're going to go inside this directory. And now we're going to choose this option, Upload. So click on Select File. I'm going to choose this file we just downloaded. Then I click on Open. So you can see file is uploaded. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to Search Console account, then click on Verify. It can take some time depending on your domain provider. You can see my domain provider is really fast. So ownership verified very quickly. In your case, it might take some time. So if you cannot verify your domain ownership, come back in a few minutes and then your domain will be verified. So domain is verified. We're going to click on Go to Property. So once you've added your website successfully in Google Search Console, you will see all the data here. Right now, because I've just added this website, so there's no data here, performance, indexing, there's no data here, only one page. To continue this tutorial, let me show you some data from my other website, which I've already added long time ago in Google Search Console, so we can understand what all these options are and how we can use those options to increase the traffic on your website. And guys, one very important thing, the first thing you need to do is after creating Google Search Console account and adding your website to it, you need to go to sitemaps. Because Google doesn't know about your new website, so you need to add your website sitemap here. So you can find your website sitemap by adding your website URL slash sitemap.xml and click here. And then you will see the sitemap website. By any case, if you find an error here, you cannot find the sitemap by typing this address. That means you might not be using a SEO plugin on your website. That's why you cannot see the sitemap. I recommend you to use Yoast SEO plugin. Really simple plugin does all the work. I'll add the link to that video where I explain how you can install Yoast SEO plugin on your website. So once you have installed Yoast SEO plugin or you find the sitemap URL of your website, you need to take the page name and then paste it here and then click on submit. So what it will do, you will submit your website to Google and you will tell to Google this sitemap of my website. If I show you here, you can see post sitemap. You can see if I click on paste sitemap, all the pages on my website, they're submitted to Google now. Sometimes you can see error couldn't fetch, but if you refresh the page, you will see the success message. The sitemap has been submitted to Google. So guys, congratulations. You took the first really big step on your website. Your website is now indexed on Google. It might take some time to index all the pages from your website to Google. But yes, you did the big work. Okay guys, let me take you to the another website account, which I already added. So we got some data here. So after a few days, you will start seeing the data of your website here. So here it will be overview. In overview, it will have general data of your website, like how it is doing performance, how many pages are indexed. You can see here, 
48 pages are not indexed and then 20 pages index. You see the data here, video page indexing. If you are having video on your website, make sure they're indexed on Google. And then we have experience data here. So page experience for mobile and desktop, core web vitals and mobile usability. And then if you are offering some products on your website, you have e-commerce website, you will see the product snippets and merchant listing here. And there will be enhancement. You see the breadcrumbs and sidelink search box. So this is the overview of Google Search Console. But the main options comes after. The second option will be performance. If you click on performance, you will see how your website is performing in Google Search Engine Rankings. You can see on this website, we have 76 clicks and total impression was 616. Average CTR, which you can see click through rate of 12.3% and average position of 22.3. Really bad example, I took the wrong website to show you guys. But yes, you understand. We have some data on this website, that's why I'm showing you this. Not very good rankings, but yes, you understand on performance, you see all the data of your website, how it is performing in Google search engine rankings. If you scroll the page, here you can do the queries and you can see what are the top queries and how people found your website. For example, website optimization report and somebody type website optimization report. My website has been shown 37 times, but there are no clicks. But you can understand in your case, you can see what terms people are searching for and how many times your website is shown to those people. Then we have pages. You can see the impression here and how many times these pages got clicked. For example, my homepage on my website shown 286 times and I got 75 clicks. Then you have countries that from which countries people are visiting your website. You can see the detail of the countries here. Then we can also know devices, desktop, mobile, tablet. And then we go to search appearance. So here we can see how many product results we had and then product snippets. This is really advanced guys and doesn't applicable to everybody. But in coming days, I'm going to make video on all these topics. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. So when I publish all those amazing videos on Google Search Console, you get the notification. So the next thing is URL inspection. You can analyze any URL of your website. For example, I entered this URL of my website and Google is going to analyze this URL. And you can see here, URL is on Google. If you enter a URL of your website here and you see it's not listed, you will have this option request indexing. So this is how you index the page of website on Google. Normally we already use sitemaps. So we already added a sitemap website, but still in any case, you cannot see your website page on Google. You can just click here on request indexing. And then you can see if there's a problem with your website page that will be listed here. You can see mobile usability is perfect. Bread comes is perfect. Site link search bug perfect. Everything looks really good. And now come to indexing. This is really important guys. This shows how your pages and website is indexed on Google. So if you click on pages here, you can see 48 not indexed and 20 are indexed. And then if you click here, view data on index pages. So you can see all the pages of my website indexed on Google search engine. But if we go back to page indexing, you can see I have 48 pages not indexed on Google search engine. And there are five reasons why they're not indexed. If we scroll the page, you can see here, we have all these errors or warnings. I'm going to make video on all these topics very soon. So keep checking the channel when I publish all these videos. So for example, you can see excluded by no index tag. If I click on this error, I scroll the page, you can see they're all feed URLs. I don't want them to index on Google. If I click on page with redirect, then you can see I read all these pages. So I don't want them to redirect on Google. However, I really need to fix those issues. How you can do that, I'm going to show you in another video. So from here pages, you can find all the errors with your website and that can be reason your website is not ranking Google search engine. So you need to fix all these errors. They're really important to fix. So once you're gonna fix all these errors, you have so many chances that Google gonna show your website to many, many visitors. And second, if you have some videos on pages, you can see those pages here. I have just one page with video. So we can see that page here. Then sitemap we already covered. At any point, if you change the sitemap URL of your website, you can add the new URL here, and then you can click on submit. So a new sitemap is submitted. Normally you don't need to check this option, but yeah, make sure you have one submitted sitemap here. So if you have one entry here, that's totally fine. Your website is indexed in Google. And if you click on the sitemap index, you can see all the sub pages of the sitemap are indexed on Google. Then we have this option, removals. Guys, it's really important. Sometimes what happens that somehow this data from your website is indexed on Google and you don't want it to be indexed. For example, a cart page or anything which you don't want to be on Google. For example, you want to remove a page. I click here on new request. Then I enter the URL of that page. Then I have two options. Either I can remove only this URL or remove all the URLs with this prefix. For example, if I about us and then I sub pages under about us, they all will be removed. In safe case, just choose remove this URL. If you want to remove the pages in bulk, you can choose this remove all URLs in prefix and then click on next and then you submit your request. I'm not going to do this. This is a perfect page on my website, but you understand how you can remove 
your website URL from Google search. And after that, we have experience. So we have page experience here. So I don't know why they're showing here 0% URLs because my website has very fast pages. The website really fast and optimized. But in your case, you're gonna see the data here that how many pages are fast on your website and how many pages are slow. And also you see the link to inside here. If you click on Core Web Vitals, then you'll see here how many pages need improvement. So I have this one issue here. If I scroll, they say LCP is longer than 2.5 seconds desktop. And if I test my website with Google Page Speed Inside, you can see my website is going 95. And if I go to FCP, LCP, they are really, really good. But if you go back on Core Web Vitals, you can see I have no data here. Sometime what can happen, there's not enough data in last 90 days for this device type, so you cannot see the data here. But with time, the data gonna appear here. So don't worry if your website is ranking fine in Page Speed Inside. And here you see the error, that's not a big deal. So don't worry about it. Then we have mobile usability. Here you can see how many pages on your website are good to mobile usage. So if you click here, view data about usable pages, you will see all the pages on website they are good to use on mobile devices. And then if you go back to mobile usability, if there's a page which has problem, in my case zero, if it in your case, there's some page which has some problems, then you will see the error here. And if somebody is selling some products on the website, then your product snippets and merchant listing here. If I click here, product snippets, I have two products on my website. If I click on view data about valid items, you can see that two pages on website where I sell some products. This is the website speed optimization consultation services. Or if you want to have website detailed report, if I click on this link, you can see where I sell this service. If anybody of you watching this video, you want a optimization report for your website, you can buy this from here. It costs only $25 and I'll provide you like complete detailed report what you can do to optimize your website completely so that you can also have better search engine rankings. I highly recommend you to check out this product. So just to explain you, if you have some products on your website you're selling, then you can see all the data here. If I go back on product snippets, if there's some issue here, you can see here. So it is a warning, it's not an error. That's why it's in yellow. If there's a warning, you see that in red. So aggregate rating and review field can be added on my products. I haven't received any rating yet. But in your case, if you have e-commerce website and you have some ratings and review on your purse, you will not see this error here. And then we have merchant listing. So I have one valid merchant listing. If I click here, then you can see this service from my website is listed on Google merchants. And after that, we have breadcrumbs. You can see I have 13 valid breadcrumbs, like all other option in Google search and console. You can see the data about valid items. And then we have side link search box. Then you can see the same data here, how many valid items you got. So I have like 11 valid items here. And there is one more really important thing, security and manual actions. So if you click on manual actions, you will see if there's an issue with your website. For example, your website is hacked or you have any other issue with your website, you will see all this here. I'm gonna create some videos very soon where you will see how you can solve this manual actions. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because I'm going to make those videos very soon. And then you have security issues. If your website is hacked or you have any other vulnerability on your website, you will see the security issues here. And in the end, the legacy tools and reports, they really doesn't matter because they're old ones. And maybe in the future, Google gonna remove these options from here. Then you have links here. You can see the external links here, internal links here, and top link side, which are linked to your website. It's really interesting to know. Let me in comments how many external links you have on your website. And if you got like really famous website, which is linking to your website, let me know and comment that too. So this is an overview of Google Search Console. I hope you are able to add your website. If you get some help from this video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is totally free. That really boosts my morale. And guys, make sure to turn on all the notifications because I'm going to create many more videos on Search Console. I'm going to show you how you can solve different kind of errors we see in Google Search Console that will really help you to increase your website traffic. And if you want to watch a video on Yoast SEO plugin to improve your search engine ranking, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how you can get perfect score for PageSpeed Insight, check this other video on screen.